bitter financial conditions have forced 34-year-old machine operator Isaka Obeng to think of other avenues of keeping body and soul together as his 800 Ghana city salary is unable to cater for himself, his wife and two children. He falls in the bracket of many others finding any means possible for survival. Here is Mame Thompson with the Living Standard series. You have to do some p -p 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 alongside your work. If you, do, if you are not able to do that, do that pa -pa -pa, oh, you, got, you will get caught on the way. As a matter of fact, I don't pay rent because I, I, I live in a in, in, in my own house, yeah. So I spend uh, on, on food, transportation, and then housekeep. So every day, the housekeeping money, I give 50 CDs to my wife for housekeep, 50 CDs. Then I, I, I take two trotro to work. I, when, when I'm going back to, I take two, two trotro back home. And tra transportation is, is taking my salary. Isaka says his favorite new word is management. He finds himself using the word very often because of economic hardship. The high cost of food prices means he has to squeeze on his budget. According to him, the economy has hit him so hard that he has had to cut down on his food. I don't actually eat in the morning. I fast and then in the afternoon I can spend nine cities on good food and then when, when i get back home yeah f f I, I i my wife is able to prepare something with the 50 cities i give for the housekeep it's not good food vendors bear the brunt of angry customers who accuse them of inflating the cost of food but they explain that the steep rise in food prices is as a result of expensive groceries. Local eatery owner, Ma Regina Loco, is worried her business may collapse soon because of what she describes as a harsh business environment. I am adopting some strategies to cushion my business because of the increasing cost of Ademi. I will now have to cut down and support with okra and likewise the granite soup with palm nuts. These days, we don't even get many customers and even those who come can't afford to buy. Sometimes I have to even dash out the food I'm selling. She has been in the food business for 35 years. But since last year, her anxiety about the survival of her business has heightened. I am currently funding the business with a loan. However, if the prices of ingredients continue to rise, paying back the loan will be a huge problem. And I can tell you that will kill my business. The cost of food increased by 11% in October 2021 over the same month in the previous year. The impact of this is that the many who earn little or nothing find it difficult to afford basic necessities. And the Living Standard series is every Tuesday and Thursdays on the Joy News channel. 